NASA guy, David Markarian, with a, another simple solution for a very, very common problem with the infamous Blue Yeti. Now, when I looked in the box when I first got this, uh, it was a present, thanks, John uh, and Kathy. Um, when I looked in the box and I saw this, uh, right away I thought, okay, wait a minute, something is wrong. Uh, there's no way this ship like this. So I instantly was concerned about the possibility that there was going to be problems with buzzing and I was right. When I plugged it in, of course, there was buzzing and people experienced that. Now, what I'm amazed at how many YouTube videos are about showing you how to use software to filter out this electrical interference, this noise, this buzzing you see. That's like saying, let's remove part of your muscles and see how well your arm works. It's really not a good idea. Let's, let's just try to get a better signal instead. So when I was at NASA, the way we did it, we were measuring muscle activity in the arms and we were looking at F-16 hand controller and the, the level of muscle fatigue that it caused. And uh, the way we did it, we put a person inside what's called a Faraday cage, which is not practical for you. It's actually a big cage tied to earth ground so that it, it draws all the electrical inter interference in the area out and down and, and that solved the problem. It was one of the solutions, but you can't do that practically in where you live uh, or most places are very difficult to do, but you can remove the sources of electrical interference that are around you. Now, it's very simple to do. Uh, you can actually do it, test it uh, by going through and figuring out which one is the source or if it's all over the place. Um, but you can unplug everything from, or just go unplug everything from the wall, uh, from printers, uh, Wi-Fi routers, etc. cetera. Um, and sometimes if you're in a really old building, you can use one of those ground testers, yellow ground testers, plug it in to see if you have a good ground. Sometimes when a building is not grounded or really old or has bad wiring, it causes this problem as well. Uh, you really want to, you know, have an electrician look at this. Really not good to have electrical interference where you live. Um, regardless, the point is that uh, you want to make sure you try to shut everything you can off. Fluorescent lights are notorious for causing electrical interference, causing buzzing in the uh, audio. Cell phones, uh, number one, probably, if this, if this is near you and everyone has them with them when they're recording, this is when a call comes in. If the ringer's off, People don't realize that when a call comes in, it bumps up the wattage on it and it generates electrical interference. I can't, the device I invented measures muscle activity and I can't, it'll wipe out the signal from that just like it does with the audio. So um, th the other problem I see that's common and easy to fix is that these days every computer maker seems to ship every computer with a ungrounded, the right side, ungrounded AC adapter. This ground is the magical device that pulls, this, this connection pulls electrical interference out completely. And if you can replace, I did mine. So this, this is the original one, this is the new one. I bought a new AC adapter. No, you cannot put an adapter on yours and create a ground. It either has a ground in the plug, can, uh, three prongs going into the AC adapter or it doesn't. There's no way to add an adapter to it. So don't try to ask anyone because there is no way to do that. Um, so the, uh, but what I found out, which was when I get, again, I looked inside the box, I was shocked at what I saw and I'm going to show you what it, it, what it is I was shocked by. And this was the simplest way to solve the problem without ever using software again. And this is the cable that it comes with, all right? When you buy it, it comes with a USB to mini USB cable, all right? This is the cable they ship it with. And I'm thinking, what are they thinking shipping this cable? What's missing? Ferrite core. So this is a filter. By using a ferrite core around uh, one end or both ends of the cable, you're taking the source of electrical interference, which is the USB port itself, and sending it right up the cable and generating noise, uh, electrical interference in the microphone. So I went back and forth and I switched from the, the cable that came with it and people are buying those and using software for no reason to this. I and mean, this is on Amazon for, I don't know, six bucks or something. And I'll put a link below for it. But this cable alone solved the problem completely. And I've used this in every environment now, both with the original and this cable and uh, multiple different, uh, I have a whole bunch of these. 
Um, but by just simply using a ferry core cable, the problem went away completely and I never had to use any software, which I just can't fathom doing. It's like you're destroying the integrity of the signal. So that's all you got to do. Ferry core, link below, problem solved through using logic, reason, and science. So thank you very much and have a nice day, evening, or morning, wherever you are. NASA guy, David Markarian out.